Hi, this is Chris, and we are taking a look at our last two questions of SAT practice test two. Questions 37 and 38 relate to the following information. So let's take a look. It says a botanist is cultivating a rare species of plant in a controlled environment and currently has 3,000. So that's current. All right, currently 3,000 of these plants. <clears throat> the population of this species that the botanist expects to grow next year can be estimated from the number of plants this year by the equation below. They give us obviously this long, complex looking equation. It says the constant K in this formula is the number of plants the environment is able to support. So question 37 reads, according to the formula, what will be the number of plants two years from now if K is 4,000? So since this formula tells us next year, which would be one year from now, we're basically going to have to do this same formula twice. So let's go n for next year equals n from this year. And what are we starting with? Well, remember in the information given, they say that currently we're at 3,000 of these plants. So it's 3,000 plus 0.2 and we're just following along with this formula. So 0.2 times this year, which is 3,000, and then times one minus this year, 3,000, over K, which for question 37 is 4,000. So that's what we're plugging in here. And when we do the math on that, luckily it's a calculator section. So just for the sake of making sure we understand where these calculations come from, we're going to simplify piece by piece. So 0 0.2 or 1 fifth of 3,000 is 600. And then times 1 minus, if you cancel out those zeros, 1 minus 3 fourths or 1 minus 0 0.75 would be 0 0.25. And again, use your calculator for this if you're not comfortable enough with the mental math. And 3,000 plus 600 times a fourth would be 150 or 600 times 0.25 is 150 so that would give us 3150 but we're not done and I can't tell you how often it is that students will just circle this as their answer submit it and move on but remember they wanted to know in the question two years from now and since the equation they give us tells us next year which is one year from now we're gonna basically do that same equation but one more time so for next year after that now we're going to use 3150 as the starting amount. So that would be the amount for this year. So we'll have, in this case, 3150 as our amount for the current year. And then for next year, we have to solve plugging in 3150 everywhere. So we get 2 times 3150 times 1 minus 3150 over. It's still the same K, it's still 4,000. And so here we're going to do these calculations, 3150 plus. And again, if you can do this in one step on your calculator, that's great. But here that would be 630. And then times 1 minus, if you cancel out your zeros here, you get 315 over 400, which would be 0.7875. And 1 minus that gives us 0.2125. And when we do the math on it, so times 630 and plus 3150, we're going to get a total of 3283.875. So that's an exact value, but <clears throat> remember, it says round your answer to the nearest whole number. So here, this is going to round up, which means that from this exact value, we're going to plug in 32.84 into our grid in. And that's the correct answer for 37. Let's take a look at 38. So here it says the botanist would like to increase the number of plants that the environment can support so that the population of the species will increase more rapidly if the botanist goal is that the number of plants will increase from 3,000 this year, which again, we already know that's the starting amount, to 3,360 next year. How many plants must the modified environment support? So basically, they are now giving us a value for next year. They're giving us, we have a this year value. They're giving us the next year value. 
we can plug everything in here, and what they're really asking for on this is they're asking us to see if we can solve for k. So let's see if we can solve for k <clears throat> here. Next year should be 3360. This year is 3000. So we have 3000 plus 0.2 times 3000 times 1 minus 3000 over k. And we're going to do a little bit of simplification here. So here, if you subtract 3,000, you get 360. And 0.2 times 3,000 right here in this calculation would be 600. So we have 360 equals 600 times 1 minus 3,000 over k. And we can continue to simplify from there. So we do 360 over 600 and that'll give us 0.6 or 3 fifths equals 1 minus 3000 over k. Subtract 1 that'll give us negative 0.4 equals negative 3000 over k. Those negatives will cancel and to isolate k, we multiply both sides by k. We get 0.4k equals 3,000. And when we divide for our final answer here, we'll get 3,000 divided by 0.4, which will give us 7,500 for the value of k for question 38. And that is going to wrap up practice test two. Please download Practice Test 3, take it, check it, and tune in to our...